Welcome friends, in this video we are going to talk about UPF, UPF which is typically referred as user plane function and if we see this user plane function is the only node in the user plane part of the core network. So typically at one end it interacts with the G node B, at other end it interacts with the external data network, however we can also have chaining and branching of the UPF. In the third direction it typically interacts with SMF over the N4 interface. Now if you look at it this is typically takes care of the end to end user plane flow and it is typically a interconnect point to the external DNs or data networks. If you want to refer it to 4G EPC we can typically consider this as HGW and PGW user plane function. User plane part of it is typically taken care by UPF in the 5G core network. It takes care of packet routing and forwarding based on the rules provided by SMF. Packet inspection, QS handling for the user plane, policy rule en enforcement, lawful interception, traffic usage reporting. But we need to imp note one important thing here. Even though all these things are done by UPF, these decisions are not taken by the UPF. UPF is a dumb device which does everything based on the instruction given by the SMF. So typically it just follows the instruction which are given by the SMF and all these rules for the buffering, for the forwarding, for the usage reporting, all these rules are passed on to UPF from the SMF depending on the policies which are fetched by SMF, right? So typically SMF fetches the policy from PCF, create some PDRs based on that and forward those rules to the UPF. So all these traffic verification, SDF2 quality of service flow mapping, transport level packet marking, downlink packet buffering and notification triggering. All these functions are typically done by the UPF. So that's all what we have in this video. In the upcoming video, we are going to talk about some more network function. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.